Yo, what's good guys? Welcome to the Irony of Gaming and this is the Counterside Tutorial Part 5. Now, we were talking down on the, the other ones, the last video we were talking about, you know, the specific things, the specific places that you go to within the game to get specific materials, to activate your world map because activating the world map would unlock specific rewards such as the ship so now I bet you're wondering it's like okay what do I do with this which one should I choose and what I would suggest is I would suggest Gleifner now Abraham is an interesting ship but it's mainly for mechs if I remember correctly this is this ship here is for for helping out mechs and the thing is oh I could just look at their skills too right here yep yeah see uh, restores HP for ally mechs in the in the broad area so this is mainly for like if you want to have a mech build like you want to build a team of mechs and thing is it is possible you can build a team of mechs there's enough of them in the game now where you can get the mechs and so if if you want to have a whole entire mech team well this could be the ship for you but no no this though is that you know it can be a little difficult to acquire the specific mechs that you want you know because you know you'll have to roll more or you'll just have to you have to just plan it out you know plan your rolls out accordingly but yeah if, if a mech team is what you want to build then this could be your go-to ship however if you just want to do something with like pure damage wise and that could just help you progress through the game faster well this is the ship for you because it also increases the attack for ally counters on the field and right now we have a lot of them <laughs> so if you're also in this position I would still suggest that you go for Gleifner also Gleifner does it inflict a, it does inflict damage on enemies so even if you have a mech team you can still use this because it deals damage and as you're starting out you want to be able to do as much damage as you can to progress the game. So we're going to choose the Gleifner ship. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have a we got our random a randomizer. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we get. Fantastic. Got a sniper. Didn't we get another one though? Did we have Curran already? Yeah, we did. We got a second one. Okay, so this is a good time to talk about this. So, okay, you see that we have multiple copies, right? So what do we do? What do we do when we have multiple copies? Well, we have a system here where it's called Tactical Update. Now, Tactical Update gives you extra buffs. So extra copies that you guys get will give you extra rewards now is this absolutely necessary no not really you can you could progress the game you could progress the game just fine without any of these and even in pvp you can you could get by without any of these now they do they can give you a slight like an ever so slightly advantage in the game for you so they can do you know they they will become slightly better which sometimes you could always use that extra bit of points to complete the content you know so whereas you know you, you could could have been close to beating the content but you didn't have this character leveled up enough or or you just didn't have the appropriate gear for them well with this system here that that little bit of extra points that you needed to clear that stage because you didn't because you know I guess you didn't have like you know 
good enough gear or the character wasn't leveled up enough, this can then, you know, fill in for it, but only so slightly. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate one of them. And so we're going to make her stronger. So now she has a damage amp of 4%. Now, what I suggest, right, that I firmly believe that every single one of these units in the game have a use. It may not be the best, but they can be used for specific situations and they can be helpful in specific situations. Now, what I suggest is before you burn any of these units, I suggest you complete all of this first. I, su I, 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 I suggest that you max out their even if even if it's a chance that you will never ever use the unit still increase this increase it because you know why not you might as well do that and this is what happens when you complete them all it becomes a purple color looks nice but yeah, it's it's always it's always good to do that because you never know, you never know when that unit can become handy. You know, you never know when they can be very useful when in times in which you need it. Oh, I definitely want to get her up there. She's a really good. Um, she's a pretty good healer. We got another rifleman? Oh, nice. Oh, we could get a, a damage amp for this. Yeah, so again, this could definitely give you a, a nice small edge against the challenging content and stuff. So this is definitely going to help us out. Oh wow, I got another sale unit. Man, I got a lot of dupes, don't I? I mean, I would have preferred new units, but that's fine. More copies is okay. Okay, so looks like it uh, crashed a little bit. Though, I'm surprised. It, it did last a lot longer than expected. <laughs> So that's a okay on my book, but yeah, I'm just uh, scrolling through the units, seeing which ones that I want to level. Yeah, as you can see, we're starting to reach that limit, so I definitely want to fix that. Nice. I could have sworn I got a Monet too. Didn't I get a Monet? Hmm, I guess not. Okay, let's see. Let's get her up there. I like this song. Oh, just to give you a little uh, a little tip as well, you can change the music, and you can also move around your you know whoever you want. You know, just to customize whatever you want to do. You can change the background as well. So let's uh, 
do I go about doing this again? Is it the control? Yeah, it's the control feature, okay. Nice. But yeah, you can um you could always change it to which, whichever ones you want. There's one that I'm looking for. Um I think it's like the early No, it's not that. Uh, oh, early night. There we go. I like this. And, okay, so what else do we want to... Okay, yep. So we could just start tackling this content and start progressing. Again, I'm just gonna skip. I'm gonna skip all of this stuff because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. So we're just going to just progress, and we're gonna pro we're gonna try and progress all the way to episode five. So there's gonna be a few more parts for this. <clears throat> But yeah, but it's like what I was saying before, pretty much like after, after pretty much you reach episode five, you guys will pretty much have a very firm understanding on how the game works. And from there, I mean, the world's your oyster <laughs> at that point. Also guys, if, if this... If there's uh, anything else that you guys want to know more about within the game, you know, feel free to, um, you know, write that down within the comment section. And, um, you know, what do you what do you also look forward to seeing within the game? But as you can see, we're easily progressing through the content. For now, at least. Oh, now here's here's another technique, right? This is another technique that I I should show you guys. Oh, ship construction, okay. I don't, th I don't think they're gonna force you to do. No, we're not doing that. Or do we have to? Uh, okay, I think we have to. Yeah, I prefer not to. So, what what I will suggest for you guys is um. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Before I even do that, um, hmm. Oh, look at that. We got the special appraisal. So, the special appraisals are um, the purple ones. Which means that we can complete another one of these.
Now, the main thing and what I want to do is unlock this. So we're going to finish the act one because we definitely need to start leveling up our units. Now, here's one thing that you could do, right? <clears throat> so the game, as you're progressing through the main story, the game is increasing your, it's increasing your, um, your XP. And what you could do is you can replace, if there's another set of units that's like low in level, you can just put them in here to take the, the, the place of specific units. Um, let's see, who else do I want to use? Oh yeah, Lambda, right? And she could be another one of our rangers. I'm just trying to figure out which ones I want to do. Okay, you know what? I can I can replace Arius for now. And we'll put Lambda in here. So they're gonna start getting. I want them to start getting levels. Okay, Gleifner. Now, I would suggest that, you know, it is it would be nice to level this up, but I would ask you guys to like refrain from it for now until until you reach like a really really hard level. Because the reason why is because let me go back here. Oh man, this emulator freezes a lot. Okay, so it's only because you'll eventually get a gold SSR ship. And what I'm planning to do is that I want to get the Enterprise. So I'm trying to debate whether I need to... level up the ship that I have right now. I wonder is the ship is there another because I know you could get another ship within the plan section hmm. oh what's this one? Oh, the new CEO thing I, I know what this is Oh, we get another one right here too. So complete this, okay. See, the one thing about this is you have to complete it in order. But once you do, it'll they'll start giving you all these free units. Which is really generous, by the way. You know what, I may actually do this one. Just so we can get another free one. Well, we could we could do that another time. Um, yeah. I would think that it'd be better. It, it, it would probably be, be better if you possibly can wait. So we're gonna see right now. That's the whole point of this tutorial. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep the ship at level one, and we'll see what happens. Again, guys, like if you're seeing like the lagging within the loading of this of the game, that's that's the emulator doing that. 
the the game like once you have it on Steam and and, and on mobile phone, you'll be you guys will be fine. You're not gonna get like all the stuttering and freezes like that. Like like what you're seeing from the emulator. Emulator's been acting weird lately, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> don't know what's going on with it. Okay, so even with the level 1 ship, it seems that we're still being able to clear the content. Ah, uh, okay, so they, okay, they do force you to, <laughs> they do force you to do the missions like that, okay. Uh, I was just trying to see if I could be slick and skip the missions, but, okay. So as you can see, from the, they were level one, and look at that, they got three whole new levels. So you, you probably could do that for a nice uh, strategy from here. Now, back then... You could get a lot of EXP just for having these units, like just for having units in your party, and they would all level up. So you would never even even really need to use the appraisal EXP cards to level up your units. You could just stack up on them and then use the missions as a way to level up your units. But it's not as good as it used to be anymore. So you you do have to use the appraisals now, but this happened. This sort of thing was happening like I think in year one when it first released in global. Oh, nice. They're giving us some free gear this time. Yeah, so we're just gonna... Oh, oops. Hold up. I went to the wrong area. Nice, nice. Okay, so I think we have enough this time. So, now that we've unlocked the supply, 
yep we've unlocked it okay so this is one of the main important ones that i wanted to unlock oh this one too so guys so the way that this works as is, is that these are talent operation missions a talent recruitment so what happens is they'll every time you beat the mission you'll get a certain amount of these and i think for the sr versions which is the purples you need about 70 of these materials 70 of these unit datas to generate a brand new unit of what the of what the data is offering so this one's yumina you can actually get another yumina by spending at least 70 um data of this now the ssr versions they will have about 120 but eventually when you guys get stronger like as you get stronger and, and your account becomes a lot more efficient you can start tackling these missions and you see how they have like these three things here this is what i was mentioning before in the beginning of the videos before where you have to beat missions at a certain time to get all three medals and once you get all three medals by beating it at a at a certain time frame you'll be able to skip farm the mission so you don't have to play through the mission every single time you could just skip it and select it how many times do you want to farm it and it'll give you the materials equal to that amount that you told it that you told it that you wanted to do and they got arius here so you know so if you don't get arius within you know your within any of your roles you can always get arius here so there's another thing that you guys could end up doing and yes so this is what i want this is what i wanted to do i wanted to try and get this up as fast as you know as as much as i can because what you want to do is you want to at least get it to here level 80 and this is where you get your important stuff a lot of good important stuff here you can rank up your units a lot faster through, through this one now also level 60 is another good one as well <sighs> So let's do a little bit of these. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, all that stuttering again, it's just the emulator. Voila! This time, the, oh, oh, I didn't finish reading it. <laughs> I like those little uh, comic book looking things. <laughs> that they, uh, comic book stuff that they're uh, making within the loading screen. They need to do more of those. Okay, so this is getting a little challenging now. <laughs> They're really pushing us back. Oh, 
Oh, okay. So we gotta complete this within a minute. Um. I might have to go back and complete this because I really need to start getting stuff right here. Oh, wait. Actually, no. I don't really care about that. This is the one I care about. And eventually, we could get to the level 60 version. But this is the one that I want to at least complete perfectly. Okay, got all of them to level 40. And then you can do the same method. Make our level 30. Just in case. And then you can just do this. Oops. I'm going to use this just so we can get, um, you know, the mission for the counter pass. And there we go, level 30. Okay. Just do that and see what happens. Uh, I don't think we yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely want to try and get this. Let's do a retry. I want to at least get the three medals for this so I, that I can constantly farm it. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to break the rule a little bit again. Mm, yeah, that's not going to work out so well. Okay. Um, hmm. Alright, let's see if we can get the twins up there. Okay, 
우리 오빠는 언제나 완전 오빠. Yeah, we'll strengthen the twins. Okay. Here's a progress. Yeah, I might have to get the awakened to be a little bit more stronger. <laughs> 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 You know, there's actually something I want to try out. Yeah, it's actually something I want to try out first. Um... I'm gonna replace Lambda real quick. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, let's see. Let's see if she can <coughs> give us a high enough buff to try and get to the other side. Uh-oh, they're all over the place now. Oh, they killed the twins this time. Yeah, we need higher levels. Yeah, we definitely need higher levels. Okay, not a big deal. So what I will do is we'll... Mm, nah, we'll just go with go with this level twenty. So we have ninety nine of these, and see, this is where it all comes. This is where it starts to come full circle now. So we have ninety nine of these, and we also get <laughs> ninety nine of the the blue tickets. And did you see how much we got? We got about eighteen hundred. And look at that, we're we're immediately at level 19 now. So if I wanted to, I could just do another one. Because we still have a lot more. And now our Eternium is not rotting. Look at that. Another 13, what is it, 1300? Yeah, 1384 and another 99. Like I said, the game is very generous. And now we're at level 22. <laughs> 
Now, you see how much we're getting here. Now, you can only imagine what we're going to get from here. Okay, so now let's see what we can do here. Okay, so this creates it further, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to at least increase that. Oh, I don't have enough info. Okay. Okay, let's see. So, Alright, so we got about 2,700 of these. We got 200 of these. Mm, I'm going to give her... We'll lower this down. And we'll use the rest of these to get her up to at least level 70. Okay. Okay. So she's level 70. Oh, oh, we got the extra one because she's level 71. Nice. Okay. And now we're going to get Yang up there. Because I did say before to definitely get Yang up there. Let's see how much is that. Okay. Do that. And get the rest up there. Now, you know what? We could just do that, but you know what? This is what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to do this the, as as efficiently as I can. So we're going to try to get everybody up to level 60 instead. Let's get the twins up there. Okay. Yeah, let's get Shifuyu up there. Okay, level 60. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Um, we'll get Chinatsu up there too. Um, You know what? Actually, no, no, no. We're not going to do that. We're going to get Lin Zen up there first. Oh, I definitely want to get her up there. Okay, and level 60. There we go. Okay. And now, who else should I level? Uh, hmm. Tell you what, I'm gonna try and get these up, get them up to 40. Okay. Get her up to 40. Karin Wong, Purume Unamida. Okay, get her up to 40. And, hmm. Let's Maybe I should get. Maybe I should put the rest into Yang? Maybe? Alright, 69. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. So this is yeah, this is a pretty good amount. I'm 
I'm gonna take her out, and I'm gonna replace her with the uh, 오늘 rifle man. Alright, let's see what happens. If anything, we could farm a little bit more, and then we'll try to beat the the whole stage series thing. Nah, doesn't seem like we're fast. <laughs> We might have to go to the workshop real quick. I mean, we could just farm more because, I mean, we do have all of these. Oh, yeah. Just a reminder, guys. These do expire. So be sure to use these before they expire. And I might end up using these, actually. Just so I can get them up to an even higher level. See, that's, that's exactly what you want to try and do. You want to try and be as efficient as possible. So that you can end up in situations like these where you can get tons of materials. Uh... I might want to try to get everybody some weapons. Yeah, it's really not much I could do right now, except for just getting them up, up to a lot, a lot, uh, what is it, a higher level. I had a tongue twister there. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, you know what? I might actually do that. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try something. I'm going to see. And we got 97 for this one, right? Let's do about 90. Okay. Oh, nice! Level twenty-five. So now we can we can establish a third branch. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use all of this. Now, normally you guys could just use this, you know, if you need to do specific farming or if you want to continue more into the story, but you have, you know, too low of Eternium. You could always use like you know one or two of these if you want, or you could use them all. Depends on what you need. Oh look, I got a 10k right here. I'm just gonna use them all. So 55,000, okay. Now if you wanted to do this even more efficiently, you could just wait before doing this and you could try and get the third of this, third metal on this, or even try to get third metal of this. But it's not to worry. You're always gonna get an abundance amount of Eternium, so. 
you don't have to worry too much about that. I think I could do this two times, right? All right, so we're like at 27 right now and our Eternium limit has increased, so that's good. Wanna make sure that that increases. Do another one. Oh, we could do one. Oh, we could do one more, actually. Should I do that? Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. We'll do one more. Nice. All right, so we're, we're now a level 30. So you can see just how fast we can level up and they're gonna give me more. <laughs> <laughs> you see this this is how you could be extremely efficient so now i probably didn't need to spend as much as i did but i wanted to do that okay so let's see I'm gonna see if I can make her into a level 100. 주도권은 so we got about 300 가지. of these and then we got 5,400. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can make it. Okay, 85. Okay, it is possible. I can do it. I could turn, okay, I could do that for her, but I want to be as efficient as possible in using my resources. So this is what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to try and get these around close to level 80 at least. So what's going to happen is she's going to be a level 80 now. I've got more than enough. But see, you gotta be careful too because this starts to increase by a lot after the higher you go up. So I gotta make sure I'm extremely careful on what I'm doing to make sure that I don't, you know, I don't get too low on this amount. So we got, we already got 17 million. Okay, so she's level 80. This is this is what I'm going to use for here. Let's see if I can get them a lot higher. Let's get these guys up there first. Okay, that's another 1,000. Okay, Okay. Um. Let's see. I do. Uh, I do want to get the twins up there to level 70 at least. Okay. Right, there we go. So we got 16 million. Okay. Um, Alright, so we're going to do this right here. We're going to make her at least close to 70. Okay, uh, let's make a level 67. Because I do want to get Shifuyu up there. Alright. 
71. Okay, we could get her up to level 70. Okay, let's see if we can dump the rest into her. Okay, level 70. Alright, nice. And let's see if I can get her a little higher. Nice. We got her up there too. Fantastic. Alright, this is good. And what I'm going to do is... Yeah, let's do one more. Alright, so we got 16,000 now. But first things first, before I even do that, let's see what happens if I do... If I, uh, if I fight them now. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do. I forgot to get them here. I don't, I don't think we're going to beat it. Never mind. I stand corrected. <laughs> still, that was uh, still a little too close for comfort. Again, guys, just want to remind you, this is a free-to-play account, so... You can see just just how insane the rewards are for this, and how easily how easy it is for you to get these materials and to also level up your units. What's really going to be a little challenging, just a little bit, is the APT uh, APT cores, because those are usually one of the most important things because it's tied to your skills. Oh, I remember this one. <laughs> yeah, this was a tough one. Oh, I forgot to use the gear again. Oh, nice, we won.
Okay, now this is the one that I wanted. Let's see if we can clear this. Oh, this one has the skill haste. Alright, hold on. We'll do that. And we'll use the skill haste. Alright, that looks to be it. Really damaging the ship. <laughs> Alright, so we got Shifuyu backing us up. As you can see, the game can get really challenging. After a while. <laughs> They're really pushing us back. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, so it looks like I'm not quite there yet. I mean, now that I think about it, I am progressing a little too fast in the game. Um, oh, you have to be... Okay, so I gotta be act, episode 3, act 4, just to unlock these. We'll get into more on this one later on once we once we reach that point. All right, so we can't beat that yet, but we can do this, and I will use that as a 99. Look at that, 495, 988. How absurd is that? And we get about 2 million. And we're level 31. Again, this is like, this is, you know, this is really, uh, this is really awesome stuff. Make sure you get your awards, your achievements. Those are always important. Because they also give Eternium. Man, 
man, they're providing me with a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, we're done with that. Alright, let's see what's in the mail. Okay, so we got another Eternium. Actually, we could... Here, let's do that. Hold on. I'm just going to see how much is the main story. Oh, it's only at 200. Well, hold on. <clears throat> let's let's see first what we can do. Because I, I want to see if I can make her into a level 100. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like I could. Oh, it's equal to a thousand. That's why. Okay. And yep, she's 100. Nice. Nice. Alright, so we got our first level 100. Now, this is basically the second day. The second day that we have been playing the new account. So that goes to show you, you know, it's if you do things the right way and you use the 10 level method and then eventually you can break that rule a little bit. You can bend it a little bit and... Um, you know, you could probably go like the 20 level rule, the 30 level rule. You can use, a, you can go, you can go a little bit above the 10 level rule. I usually go by the 10 level rule just because, you know, it, it just makes things a lot easier. And, you know, you could save more materials. And, you, you know, it, it gets you up there enough just to progress through the game. And it's challenges. <sighs> what I might do now is I might make all of these characters level 80 if I can. I have the credits for it as well. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, also too, let's see. Did we do it? Yes, we did. 15 battles, 10 supply operations, use one special appraisal. Guys, we did do it. We are able to do daily of six. So it is possible, guys. You, you can do uh, all the missions. Even if, you, even if you made a mistake like I did, where I did, well, even, even if you got unlucky, like I did with one of the missions, you can still clear it. And look at that. More stuff and more Eternium. So we could just do that. We got info now, 1000 info. And like I was saying before, your supply operations is exactly where you want to go. Let's try some more. Nice, we got like 6,000 left. Let's see, what do we get? Okay, so we got this. We get 10,000. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it alone for now. Alright, let's see if we can beat this. So, 
break them up by two, so spend about 200. Spend about 130. Actually, no, put that back down to around 200 something. Okay, and then we could use this as the means. Okay, level 80. <laughs> 사장님 덕분에 이번 달 사료값은 걱정 없겠어요. And we'll get the twins up there to level 80 if I can. Now let's go a little bit lower than that. At least close to 150. There we go. Yeah, we could do riflemen. Riflemen can be good. We'll get them up there. Spend a hundred. Oh man. Okay, so this is what I'll do. All right, so we'll do about level 73 for him. And then we could put the rest to Shifuyu. Nice. Okay, let's see what happens. Again, I'm doing everything step by step. Not cutting out anything, just showing you the raw footage of step by step on how to progress through this. Well, through the, through the game of Count Aside. Besides that part three video, but yeah, besides that part three video that, you know, had some uh, technical difficulties in. <laughs> okay, we're, we're faring against them a little bit. Yeah, still not good enough. Okay, so usually at this point, it would seem that you would also need um, a little bit of higher skill. Like, you have to level up some of their skills, and then we may need to have some uh, more gear. This is exactly what it's looking like. Act two, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna do a few of the. We're gonna do a few of the missions here for episode two.
We're pretty high level now. <laughs> yeah, so think about that, guys. Within... Within the uh, on the first day, within the hour, one hour of gameplay, or no, actually within two hours, two hours within the first day of starting the account, two hours, and we ended up getting a level 100 and the and almost our whole team up to level 100, and that took about two days. This is the second day right now. Uh, on the day of this recording, so this is pretty interesting. So you can you can be efficient in having more re still enough resources, still enough Eternium to do things with a nice you know a nice backup right here, a backup reserve, and this is still all with a level one ship. Now, if I were to upgrade this ship right now. I probably will be able to clear a little bit more content that it's throwing at me right now in my current state. However, I don't know if I'm going to level this up right now because I wanted to get I want to get the Enterprise. So because you're gonna get the you know because we're gonna get a free ship when signing in, all we gotta do is just wait that out and just and then get the ship and then we use the materials that we have to level the the ship up instead of leveling this one up but I'm gonna try to see if we can pull that off ネルナイスが振りめ。バイオランス。ヒョンジャンに自分ごと逃げまきどろ。関係ないよ。ちゃんと。ドラ。ドラ。ドラ。ドラ。ドラ。ドラ。ドラ。ドラ。ドラ。
unfortunately, as you can see, the game can barely handle these units right now. All right, nice. We're slowly building up our gear. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we got Act 3 now. Nice. <clears throat> now, we did unlock something, though. I think it has something to do with the supply. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, so we finally unlocked this. Yeah, these are going to be important for your crafting. And, yeah, we could do one mission of those. Again, you're always going to want to try and spend down your Eternium as much as you can. Okay, so we gotta go through our world map so we can purchase our free branch. So let's see, which one do we want? Mm, we're gonna get the front bay. Now remember, as you progress, the more branches that you purchase, the higher the credits will be and the higher the quartz will be. So this is why I said, don't waste your time spending any of your quartz on this because they will increase to absurd levels. However, the credits is way more manageable. So now we got a third branch, which means we're gonna get more stuff over time. Okay, so which one do I wanna do? Um, that's not really the best, but... <sighs> we could use Karin, and then we'll use this, because I want this material, if, if I can get a chance to get this. Okay, so I gotta be a 35 to unlock this. Okay. But uh, yeah, you see how easy it is that we can level up. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see if we can complete these missions more. Achievements. Okay, we're pretty steady with our credits. But yeah, so we're gonna call it here. Um, this is what this is it for uh, part five. But yeah, so you guys were able to see just how efficient that you can be in leveling up your units. 
um, taking a look at, at at their skills and knowing which missions to go for when you want to, you know, level up. So remember, your, the supply section within the request section, supply operations, these are your go-to stuff. Your go-to things to start farming materials that you need. And if you need gear, well guys, you can always go here. You can farm the gear. It will give you a chance to do that. Tier fives. And actually, let's do that because I want to spend. Actually, yeah, let's do this one right here. I'm actually curious to see what they give you. Well, that was easy. <laughs> we killed them so fast. Oh, that's funny. We killed them so fast that the game needs time to load. It needs more time to load with more soldiers. Okay, yeah, so we're going to spend the most of our Eternium here. And then on the next part, we're going to uh, start progressing through more of the story. And look at that, we're just getting, you know, random gear sets. So this is always good. Whew. And then, oh nice, we leveled up again. So level 33. Alright, now as you can see in the management section... So for Yang, I do want to get, I do want to enhance her, uh, enhance the unit. Okay, so we're going to need a little more for this. Which we can farm if we use the supply operation. So that's going to be, so for the next time we're going to do that, we're going to start farming the farming for these eight uh, APT cores and we're gonna try and get Yang maxed out and then to effectively increase her skills so we're gonna do that right now yeah, we can leave that as level two and we'll just slowly work our way up so now she's slightly better As you can see, her ultimate skill right here, the skill haste. With the barrier. She can give uh, skill haste to the team. Plus 
Not bad. And yeah, so in order to be able to unlock more of these, you got to unlock your limit break. So you got to once you complete the limit break, you unlock all of their accessories. So now you can start putting gear on your units. Which will make them more efficient. But yeah, that's uh that's it for this part of of the tutorial. Um, you know, I'm walk again. I'm gonna be walking through through this with you guys all the way up until episode five, till we finish episode five and get our free awaken unit, which I mentioned before, Hill Day. And um, yeah, because uh, at that point, once you really finish episode five, I mean, there's you you you'll pretty much understand how the game functions and all that, and you would know the gist of it. And you can you can start progressing through all of the sub sub streams and the main story. Now I know that I've been doing the main story and whatnot. You don't have to necessarily do like the main story. Like I would say that after you you want you want to complete the first two episodes so you can manage to unlock everything. Um, I think episode three you have to finish up episode three until you get to episode four. Okay, so you're going to do episode 2 here. Oh, we can go into the gauntlet mode. Oh, that's going to be interesting. I'll save that for another for another time, though. This, this will also contribute to you succeeding in the game. Where, because they offer, like, the points that you see here. These points is a, another currency system, which allows you to get more... Um... I guess you could say more powerful gear. So you can get maze gear. Um, th this is one of the functions that you can get. These are one of the features that you can use to get some maze gear and some top notch gear. Um, there are other, of course, there are other places like danger clothes and, you know, other features once you reach the end game. But for now, this is what we're going to stick with. There was something else that I wanted to mention. Um, actually, no. I just want to check something out. Okay, so episode 5, right? Oh, and from here, you can create favorites. So, what you could do is... Rather than me having to always go here, I could just create a favorites list, like right here, and then I could immediately go there to farm the mission. <clears throat> but at this time, I'm not going to do that right now. But like I was saying, like you don't necessarily have to um, always stick to the story, but if you want to start unlocking things, oh, it looks like it too, you do have to, you know, in order to unlock specific substreams, you do have to beat the story. So they do want you to beat the story, and then once you're able to unlock more of these, this will be really good. This will be really good for your account. Because they it'll just open up to more rewards. So, yeah, never mind. You, you, you're definitely going to have to do the story. Finish it up to at least episode 5, and you'll unlock the majority of the substreams, which then opens you up to more rewards, and it'll just make your account more efficient. So, yeah, that, that's, that, that'll be uh, pretty much it for this part. And, um, yeah, we're going to start tackling more content. We're going to start tackling more content that the game throws at us in the next part. So, if you guys found this useful, uh, feel free to leave a like. And if you didn't find it useful, then feel free to leave a dislike. Um, also, I just want to say I appreciate you guys watching the videos. And I'm glad that these videos man are managing to help you guys out. And, um, yeah, um, if you know, uh, also too, I'm, I'm curious to know what awakens that you guys got. Uh, let me know down in the uh, comment section, but, um, yeah, stay chill guys. And remember, don't fear the reaper.